This is going to be an HTML tutorial on how to link a button to an internal PDF file. That means when you click on a button, it will open a PDF file. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, on my desktop here, don't mind how cluttered my desktop is, but I have created a folder here, and I've named my folder Test, and inside of my folder, I have just a basic HTML file and I have created a documents folder. It's always a good idea to keep your documents in a folder and your images in another folder and your CSS in another folder and so on. That keeps it much more organized and easier to find things. In my documents folder, I'm going to double click on it, I have just an example PDF here. And that's the PDF that I'm going to be using. Let me uh, jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I'm inside of VS Code now, and I have just a basic boilerplate made out here. Nothing fancy about it. I'm going to place my button between my opening and closing body tag in here, and I'm going to make it inside of a H1 header. You can, make, uh, you can make it inside of any header tag or paragraph tag, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use H1. And in between your opening and closing header tag here, you want to type your text. For more information, click here, semicolon. I'm going to make a space and then I'm going to create my button. As you see, VS Code automatically closes it for me. And inside of my opening button tag here, I'm going to place my cursor right in there. I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to type on click equals double quotations. And inside of those double quotations here, I'm going to type location.href equals and then a pair of single quotations and inside of those single quotations I'm going to place the link to my uh, PDF. I have my PDF in a documents folder And then I'm going to create a forward slash and then the name of my uh, PDF file. Example.pdf. Make sure you have that file extension in there, .pdf. And then inside, uh, outside of this last single quotation, between the single quotation and the double quotation, you want to make a semicolon. And then outside of your opening button tag, you want to place your cursor in there, and you want to type the text that's going to appear on the button. I'm just going to call my button downloadable PDF. That's the text that's going to appear on the button. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Then I'm going to open my index file that I just created. I'm going to double click on it from my folder. And right here, for more information, click here. And then my button is right here. My button is, uh, has text on it, downloadable PDF. I'm going to click on that. And there we have the PDF. That button is linked to this PDF. I'm going to hit the back arrow to go back but that is how you link a button to a PDF file internally. Thanks for watching.